Hello guys, new game here to the channel. Uh, it's a free game in this team. It, it just launched like this week. The name of the game is Die in the Dungeon Oranges. And it's a turn-based game. We're gonna get through it. I've just played the tutorial, so I'm gonna get you through this. Looks like an interesting game. I've just played the tutorial. Uh, has a little bit of strategy, it's turn-based, and uh, so basically how it works. Uh, this is our board here. We have some dice with numbers on it that indicates the, the value of the, the dice and the types. For example, here you have a heal dice that heals our health. We have a shield dice that blocks an, an enemy attack. And we have a damage dice here that attacks the enemy. And we also have this boost dice here, which increases the number of the other dices in the side. For example, if I put in the board here, it's gonna increase the numbers in this part, for example. Uh, and our objective here is to get as far as, as we can here fighting the, the enemies. The enemies are gonna do the same as us, but right after. So we do our movements first and then he's, he's gonna attack three times here, as you can see, and has six health. So let's get you through here. I'm gonna use a boost one here. Since he's gonna attack with three, I'm gonna block two with the boost gonna be three and I'm gonna attack three here. I'm gonna finish my turn, block a three and gave uh, three damage here. Uh, let me see here. This one boosts uh, horizontally. This one is all around. I'm just gonna finish here because I go first, I just kill the, the bug here. And as we go on, we are on floor one here right now. It's like tower-like. So you go up in the tower, you get new upgrades, new buffs. Looks like an interesting game. I'm gonna go with increase max health here. I think that's more, I think that's better. Let's see here, floor two. We got two enemies here. Let's think this through. I'm gonna go boost here. I think this boost dice is really strong. Could block two. I'm gonna block three and attack four here. That's all right. We have a stamina here too. We can like get all the dice and put, we have like three stamina here. Energy three out of three. Used to place dice on the board. And in our hand we have six here. We have our back too. There are some relics, discards. And exile. I, I don't quite get this yet, but we'll get it eventually. This is a discard, so basically we won't get these dices. Relics should have some dices here eventually, and exile I have no idea. But we're gonna discover it. Uh, we can heal. And bro, for me the boost here is the most important here. Uh, I'm gonna block a little bit too. You're attacking with two. You're blocking here too. Um, can I choose who I attack here? It's first you, then you. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna give full damage here. Doesn't matter about my healing here, right? Just gonna. He's gonna attack with three. I'm gonna attack full here, and then I heal back. I guess that's that's okay. Take three damage here. Now I have to. I have to heal here. I'm gonna heal and attack here. He's gonna heal too, but it's blocking too. Mm, he's not attacking, so I don't need to block here. Hmm, interesting. Get one new dice or discard one that I'm gonna get a new dice here. Ooh, we have new. This we haven't seen this in the, in the tutorial. Basic glass heal dice, glass prism dice, block dice. I'm gonna go class, uh, glass prism dice. Doesn't know what it what it does, but let's give it a look. Floor three right now. First time facing an event. No worries. I'll explain how they work. Hmm. Look for something of value. Events are encounters where you choose the option to use your dice to proceed. Options are presented here. Mmm, look for something valid, look for some dice, look for any survivors. You encounter some sort of blacksmith station. It was abandoned in the hurry, so there might be something useful inside. 
In order to select an option, you first need to fill their slots with suitable dice. It's okay, so I, as I understand here, I'm gonna spend some dice here that we have in our board to do these events. Ah, here's the prism dice that I got uh, last turn. Mm, interesting. In order to select, no, no, no. Okay, check that one. Suitable dice. Okay. Here's the block dice, as we can see. When hovering over slots, your suitable dice will be highlighted. This depends on the slot requirements. Drop the dice of type block here. Slot requirements can range between certain types, like attack properties like glass, or nothing at all. Okay. Now you might be thinking, how do I know which options to choose? Easy, just hover over them. If the total row is three or more, choose between three common relics. If the total row is less than three, trigger battle. See, here you can see their potential outcome, success and failure. But what determines the outcome? Well, to answer that, let's fill those slots first. Drag the dice from the deck into your slots from the option over there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna drop any dice here. And here's a block, so I'm gonna get block here. And since I want I want it to be a success, I should put another two value there. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put maybe a boost here. I have tons of them. Great, now we are ready to select the option, but something's missing. See the yellow number at the top? That's the target row of this event. Okay, that's three. Mm -hmm. When selecting an option, the place of dice will be rolled. If the total row reaches the ta uh, target row, success. Okay, let's proceed and click the option and watch the dice roll. Okay, five. Success, your total row is equal or greater than the target row, so you can now receive your reward. I uh, look for something of value. Okay, I would have chosen that anyway because a new uh, new dice and survivors I think are unlikely. And that's about it. But wait, that was too easy. Let's see how you do on your own. Looks like they left something value behind. Continue. Okay. See, it looks like it's more like a stamp power strategy. Uh, look for. I'm gonna look for something of value here. Look for survivors. I think that's unlikely. I'm gonna use the boost here. I think that's alright. Okay. Success here. Continue. Nice. Seems like you got the idea. The gist of it, now you're on your own. But remember, click me if you ever need help. Okay. Uh, Ooh, if you use three or more different types of them, draw one dice next turn. Uh, heal two HP at the end, or boost dice will gain plus one boost value when all available target slots have dice on them. And this is one. This one is hard to trigger, I think. Hmm, I'm gonna heal here. Thinks better. Ooh, so we got perks too. It, it, it's. Do you get the idea? It's this style here. You got the main mainstream game here, but you also get something around perks here. You go up, you level up. Okay, so this guy, he's doubling his attack here. I should block at least a little bit here. Uh, and I'm gonna attack here too. Let's go. Okay. Block it a little bit there. Um, more of these. I hope I can uh, evolve or get more energy here because three energy is a little too low. Um, I think I'm gonna full attack here. I'm giving eight damage. That's enough to kill you. Okay. And discard one die, so get a new die. Mm, hollow boost dice, it's this. Basic glass mirror dice is everything is six here, and basic attack dice. I'm gonna go with this mirror dice here. I'm gonna give it a look at my bag here just to see what is going on here. Hmm. Okay, and you guys. Hey, slow down for a moment. This enemy is special. Looks like he has poison, something like that. In fact, with this by one. 
the value of the dice placed in this slot. The Celeste modifier, the enemy will infect a random slot of the board at the start of the turn. Okay, is that icon over there? Mm -hmm, I saw it. Uh, enemy has a modifier, okay. I saw it, saw, saw, saw. Modifiers can change the way enemies behave, they can modify their actions, their board, uh, the board, and even the way they need to be killed. Okay, when you card a new enemy, be sure to hover over it and learn a bit more about the behavior. Knowledge is power? Okay, surely. Uh, yeah, so this one is infected, the value of it is gonna decrease by one. Let me see, give it a look here really quickly. So here we got the perks, the relics. We got our boards here, so in my hands I should have like these possible values of attack here. This possible of block, of heal, boost, and this basic glass prism. And this one will copy the dice six places away. Hmm, okay. Yeah, this one doesn't show here though. Okay. Let, let me see, let me see here. Six places away? Are the places like one, two, three, four? Let me see. Uh, I copied six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the counting here follows the line. It copies six places away, which means if you have something here, it copies here. One, two, three, four, five, six. If it is here, one, two, three, four, five. So it has to be the opposite. Maybe the back gets bigger. If the back gets bigger, it's gonna work better here. Don't know if you can copy twice here. Don't think that's possible. Uh, but I must copy here since I don't have that much here. I'm gonna give an attack here and I'm gonna copy it. It's gonna copy with boost too. Mm, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Okay. Uh, ooh, it spreads? Every turn, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with you. You're giving six damage, bro. I'm gonna have to hold a bit here. If I put this one specifically, yeah. I don't have the Prisma though. Okay. I'm gonna give attack here. I can't quite kill you yet, so I have to block here. Block a little bit here. I'm losing a lot of damage here. Okay, prison, uh, prison dies when targeted, extend the targeting effect to its zone targets. Mm. Didn't quite understand here. Ah, okay. Uh. Wait, what? Did you guys understand this one? When targeted, the extended targeting effects to its own target. Gonna try it. Uh, but I should be able to kill you here now. Wait, what? It evolves. Bro, what was this? Okay, it, it just extended here. If all this would be ex. Ooh, so. Yeah, in this position looks better, right? <laughs> Than this other one here. It, it should be a square, like here. Uh, interesting. So it's stronger in this position here. I'm gonna put this here. It's gonna extend. Plus eight because of the extension here on the prism. Oh, so the prism here is leveling up the the effect here. You see, it's plus two base, but now it's plus eight. Is it strong here? Okay. Great two dice to silver dice. Whoa. Great two dice to silver. Silver. I want to see. I'm gonna go upgrade attack here. Mm, the value increases here. This one is kind of new here. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna need to heal more because the health stays right as we progress the floor. We don't heal back. Mm, we just heal too because of the perk here. That was a good choice. Let me see what you have here. While alive, we'll keep a die on the board. Okay, so you are blocking me here a little bit. Mm, strong guys here. Okay, so you're affecting these here. Okay, this is giving plus six. 
Everything you can do here is attack. Didn't have any blocks. Okay, it's all right. I'm attack here. Everything, bro. I'm taking quite a lot of damage here. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, I I got a heal here too. Let's heal a little bit here. Mm, six, bro. You're giving like ten damage here. I have to get rid of one of you first. Okay, so it, it, was, it started easy, but now it's getting hard. Progressively harder. Okay, uh, now that you're attacking low here, one, two, three, I should, I must block here, right? Must block. Must block here. I, sh I really wanted to kill one of you here, but I won't be able to. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna block here. Seven is gonna be able to block everything here. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to wait here. Okay, got more. It's six blocks away here. So... Uh, you're attacking five here. I can't quite block you here, right? So I think I lost here. Did I just lost you already? I think I did, bro. Okay, I thought it would be easier here. Thank you for for playing full version. Full version coming in 2024. It's a it's a beta beta game, obviously, as you see. It looks like an interesting one here. Runtime was 16 minutes. Got this relics. It's a run like game. Mm. Okay, do, do you want to try it again, guys? Do you, you want to try it again?